Where, where we do calm and relax, calm. Welcome to Pond's Bracelet. This is day number three. <laughs> Buddy, you were the one that told me oh, that this is what we say. You remember yeah. every time. <laughs> calm and relax. We have to include it now. Calm. Like we're gonna have to start up a new intro and have that like as a subtitle. What? Was I asleep? Episode of All this time? Three. Sonic Adventure 3 finally came out? Yeah, and it's got Shadow in it. And it continues off yes! of Sonic Adventure oh, 2. I wanted. Shadow? God, I've been waiting so long. <laughs> oh my god, I have to fight the boss again? That sucks. What do you mean? It took you like two seconds. It took 35. Oh! That's like 35? 15 times as long. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, I fucking do math. Can I Look at those physics, man. This game is the best game. This game is the best game. Um. Uh. <laughs> really? That's it? You know what? I just. Just, just, I don't know, just now I realize <laughs> how much I, I, I enjoy in Sonic Rush. Did you ever play Sonic Rush? I... Oh, he's still alive! Oh, I thought that killed him! Oh! Okay. Uh, no, um, I didn't. I was never a Sonic Rush kind of kid. Okay, now he's dead. <laughs> I thought I killed him with that. a Sonic Rush kind of kid. Did you have a 3DS? No. It, by the way, it was on the regular DS, for one. And, oh, that's uh, what I meant. That's you know what, what though? Actually, I lied. Um, which one had Marine in it? That's Sonic Rush Adventure. I had that for a while, but I never played it. And uh, the only Sonic Rush kind of game that I did own was Sonic Colors for the DS, which was just basically Sonic Rush 3, honestly. Well, tell me if it did this, because I didn't play Sonic Colors DS, but <clears throat> at the end of bosses, when you deliver the final blow, it does that, like, psh thing where like it, it shows you a different camera angle of Sonic like frozen in frame. Oh, God, I don't I I yes it did actually. <laughs> yes, yes, yes it did. I, I love that. That's I, so cool. And then it just explodes right after that. It was just really cinematic and fun and I liked it. I did I do remember that specifically. This is oh, very my. comic book like and I just thought it was really fitting. This I remember the first time playing this game. This was the stage that just made me go Wow, Sonic Colors. Because of the colors? Just just look. Wow, Sonic Colors. Look at the colors. Oh my god. <laughs> look at this! Oh my god, this is the... How could you not think this is the best Sonic game? Honestly, how could you possibly think adventure any of the adventures are better than this what do they have but they were good for their time buddy no they weren't not really yeah, they, were. they were mediocre for their time not really dude at the time like kingdom hearts was around what when did no. they come out when did they come out what, what? years what, what years did they come out about? what years did they come out 2001 2000? When, when did Kingdom Hearts come out? 2001, I believe. The first Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. Hmm. When did when did Sonic Adventure come out? Oh wait, Sonic no, 1999, right? Sonic Adventure 1 for Dreamcast came out in 1999, right? I think. Yeah. Well, uh, 1990. Okay, so. They had, let's see, well they already had all three Crash Bandicoots out by then. Yeah. I don't know, Crash Bandicoot 3 versus Sonic Adventure? That's tough. That's a tough one, actually. I don't know, I mean, I guess Adventure did have more of an adventure feel to it. It felt like you were on a But like, journey. this is the thing, though. Crash Bandicoot was also good for its time, right? Crash Bandicoot was the best for its time. But I don't know, 
know. I mean, it's... I don't know. I, I don't remember as a kid being like, holy shit, this is like... Like, if Kingdom Hearts was in that time, then I... I don't think Kingdom Hearts was in that time. Kingdom Hearts was like PS2, dude, wasn't it? One of the furry first games for PS2. Well, so was Jack and Daxter. Yeah, but, I think that's a separate era, dude. I think we're talking about completely different gaming eras. Well... Because Sonic was in the shitter around Kingdom Hearts. Like, he was like just getting out of heroes and going into shadow the hedgehog around that time no 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 dude that's 2005 that's like that's kingdom hearts 2 i think was already out by then i don't think so it was sonic i feel like sonic heroes and kingdom hearts was like in tandem no sonic heroes was 2003 oh wait no 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 sorry it was, yeah, Kingdom Hearts was in Sonic's weird hi hiatus where he was, like, DX. It was just DX and Adventure 2 Battle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Yeah, which isn't really fair to judge because those are Dreamcast games. So you can't really compare. Well, Dreamcast and PS2 were competitors, dude. The no, Dreamcast they weren't. was not a competitor to the N64. It's competitor. Se Sega released their consoles between the N64 and the GameCube, so it was like it's this weird middle ground. So you, it was defeated by the PS2 for that very reason. It wasn't even you can't compare the two consoles because it's a little bit better than N64, but not as good as GameCube, and certainly not as good as PS2. It's still part of the same generation. I don't know. It doesn't. I'm not trying to compare it to. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I just want to compare it to what came out that year. Like, if it came out no, in I 1999... Know, but, but, but it wasn't... De like, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 was not even developed anywhere near the time of Kingdom Hearts. Well, so you okay, can't let Kingdom Hearts go! I don't care about Kingdom Hearts! I you just were talking it about them! That's when the conversation started! I thought it was because it came out the same year. I don't care didn't. about Kingdom Hearts. I just give me a game that came, give me the year it came out, and then we'll figure out what game came out also that year. Talking about Crash Bandicoot, and I think that the, like the quality was, they were totally like, I don't know, like at the time the quality, I didn't notice a distinct difference because like, well, I remember when I was a kid, specifically thinking that like I, I enjoyed Crash Bandicoot, but it was more of a like a simple enjoyment, like it was like oh this is like a simple thing, but like. When you think about it, like, Sonic, Sonic was cinematic, like, he wasn't about simple controls, like, yes, there was a learning curve, and yes, there was, you would die a lot, and yes, 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 but, like, Sonic games back then were, like, when you were a kid, you liked it because it was, like, holy shit, like, holy shit, is that really happening? And, like, that's what made it, like, good for its time. I guess, I mean... I, the, when I think of, like, Sonic Adventure, I almost think of, like, the first couple Zelda games on N64. Like, the way it was more cinematic. I will say Sonic Adventure was very ambitious. It was probably the most ambitious game of its time. With all the music and all the gameplay and all the stuff that they made for it. Like, they went above and beyond for it. But yeah, to think absolutely. that it's the <laughs> best game of its time period? I oh, I don't think it... I said it was good for its time. I didn't... I, there's, I mean, I can't even say that it was the best for its time only because I didn't play all the games of that time. And I'm well aware of that. However, I do know that in that time, for people that I spoke to, because I was a fucking video game nerd. And it was just... It wasn't a game that... Was it Sonic wasn't looked down on at that time? Like he was totally in there, like through magazines in that time, and like people I knew, I... and just everything. What he wasn't in that like he, there wasn't. Uh, it was considered quality, really. I don't know. I it's just I don't. I don't think that Sonic Adventure was a bigger deal to the time it came out than Sonic Colors is to the time it came out. You don't? Th I don't I, think I so. personally think that hype for Sonic was was lower at the time of Colors. Sonic had like ruined and tarnished his reputation multiple well, times well, over. So, well, so did he before Adventure came out, dude. I mean, they were dealing with Sonic Extreme and Sonic 3D Blast and all that stuff. People were pissed. People thought Sonic was dead, and he was. Adventure know, but... saved Sonic, dude. 
he didn't he wasn't on top of the world anymore that he was like a relic by the time adventure came out and that brought him back i don't even I, but it wasn't that how long are they waiting well when did sonic 3 come out 1995 1994 a couple of years, at least half a decade or, you know i don't know I'm, I Jeez, just, that's making me wonder, like, is Sonic just constantly a wreck? Like, like, does he just go away for a long time, which again, he finally comes back, and then he goes away? Maybe that's Sonic's thing. Maybe that they, they strategically, <laughs> like, no, it's, have him go no, away. No, it's not a strategic... They make mistakes, that's what happens. <laughs> it's not strategic. They well, made... They screwed up. They screwed up with Sonic Extreme. They wanted Sonic Extreme to be Sonic's rival to Crash Bandicoot and Mario 64. That was their intent. They screwed that up and they, then the... they screwed that up and then they went on to make Sonic Adventure. Did you hear that uh, they're gonna f they're finding a way to release Sonic Extreme? No, I didn't, I didn't hear that. Oh, what the shit was that? I did not hear that though. You can't, you can't use the dash forward. You'll be fine as long as you don't use the dash forward. It'll always keep up with you. Sonic Dash. Oh, by the way, Sonic, Sonic Dash S. That's the sequel to Sonic Dash. How do you know that? Because there's a screenshot for it. What? Really? Yeah. It's does been it look, it's been around it, for almost a year. Does guess, it look good? It looks exactly the same, honestly. It's still Seaside Hill. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who even makes it? Hard Light Studios or whatever? Yeah, I mean, I guess they're I guess they're just not good at making sequels. Whatever. It, I'm sure they're gonna have some fucking gimmick. Maybe Super Sonic. I don't fucking know. Whatever. I, it looks exactly the same. I don't know. I know, but Sonic Jump Fever looks the same, and they had this weird Fever mode. So whatever. Maybe there's an S mode. <laughs> Super. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anyway, they they found a way to release uh, Sonic Extreme because um. An external company outside of Sega uh, had a prototype, and uh, uh, apparently somebody who's fucking, I don't know, somebody's fucking friend's mom's brother's fuck uh, <laughs> was part of that company recently shut down, so, you know, mm -hmm. and it's just a build that Sega, you know, just yeah. does, did, did, that kind of threw away, so it was uh, it was in this company's files. Huh. Or something like that. Like, I'm kind of like filling in blanks here. I don't really know entirely. Right. But it's definitely uh, the, the for sure what I know is it's it's from an external company, so it's out of Sega's control. So they're not releasing the game commercially. No. They're just gonna it's, release it's, a bit the, the it's files. It's the build. It's the build that they made. That's the most complete. Um, before uh, Yugi Naka went. Hey, you can't use my engine. You didn't fucking ask me. Like, literally what happened in, during Sonic Extreme's development was they went, Hey, uh, there's this really cool uh, Saturn engine that they make nights into dreams. Why don't you use that? Because Sega's like, you know, he works for us, so we must have rights for it. And they used it and literally made almost like 80% of a Sonic game, Sonic Extreme, on it. Yeah, but... And then... But they, it looked no, so shitty, though. And they couldn't release it. But it looked so shitty. Sonic Extreme? It wasn't finished, though. I don't know. It just... It looked like the not Sonic game. I don't know. <laughs> Here's the thing with Sonic games. I don't know why, but it took them a long time to get Sonic right in 3D. And I think, personally that this game is the one that gets it the most right. Also, we gotta bounce you later. Bounce someone later. Fuck it.